Hey Aries, welcome to Black Star Tarot. Like and subscribe guys. This is your twin flame reading for September. Oh, let's go. All right Aries, uh, I shuffled these cards before the camera started and I'm gonna shuffle them again right here with you guys. Okay, so in the count of three, we're gonna pick one from the top. All right Aries, so we have one, two, and three let's see what we have oh the world thank you it's not the hermit man everybody's been getting a dog on hermit i don't know what's up so the world so the world represents all signs aries look i said <laughs> everybody been getting a hermit look on the bottom of the day god darn hermit he will he's just relentless you know the hermit is usually quiet he's he's not restless today he's just all he's just a man he is restless today you know he's just all over the place anyway so uh Aries, the world, represents all signs. This is where um, you get a greater understanding. And most likely this greater understanding comes from all that you've been through, okay? It can also represent travel, completion, accomplishments, fulfillment, all of that good stuff, okay? But let's find out why the world is here uh, for you. So your, your flame could be any sign at this time, all right? So let's see why... The world card is is here for you okay you got separation that tried to come out but let me um go again okay let's see what else do we have all right so here we go all right so we got honeymoon and we got separation that came out here uh with the world let me just put this so you can keep an eye on it okay hopefully you guys can see that all right all right don't look at my wrinkled hands, okay? All right, so we have the world card. So in separation and honeymoon, what does this card say? Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. <laughs> so first thing that came to my mind is um, something in and something beginning, all right? So you could have been in a uh, long-term possibly turbulent or very busy relationship with somebody flame or not okay flame or not but there also could be someone that you've met now that you are sharing tons of um chemistry with i'm just going to put it out there okay so i think that's why that honeymoon card is here so you've wrapped up a cycle with somebody else maybe somebody who you could have thought was your flame or somebody that just came along your journey to teach you something, all right, about yourself, about love, commitments, and the amount of time, you know, that we put into them. I'm not really sure. But this new person that's coming in for you guys, this person feels like home. They feel like someone that, you know, you've known before. I get that six of cup energy, you know, with this new person coming in. Like, you guys have a lot in common, maybe you know, they feel like an old friend. For some of you, they could be an old friend. Some of you could have ran into somebody you know before, but right now you're spending a lot of time with this newness that has come into um, into your life at this time. So let's see what other messages we have here. I did completion, that world right now. Like, I do feel like some of you have been through a lot. And I also feel like whoever you met, like, I just feel like a lot of movement. Just going, 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 going to the movies, going to dinner, going to the museum, going to, you know, I just feel a lot of, of movement and travel between you and someone, all right? So maybe this is two separate readings. I'm not really sure, but I do feel something that is beginning and then something's ending. So we have a separation here, but yet we also have some good times with this honeymoon card, all right? All right, maybe some of y'all woke up, decided to let that bad apple go and bring in something amazing. So messages for, you can't make this stuff up. You cannot make this stuff up. All right, so you got uh, finality. Okay, so you've left somebody behind. You know, like, yo, can y'all make, the, can we make this up a no? Like, literally, okay? And then you got fantasy that came out as well. Like, really. So the world you left something behind you had to wrap something up you're saying goodbye to someone or you've already said goodbye to someone or you will be saying goodbye to someone because someone has entered into your existence that is really making you feel pretty okay making you feel good alive like 
you know, just, it's just filling you up with, with just, I don't know, energy, so to speak, okay? You know, you thinking about this person a lot, Aries, like they're really on your mind. You're daydreaming about this, this, this person, you're fantasizing about um, this new love, almost to the point of exhaustion, right? This person is constantly, you know, on your mind. Like fantasy, I mean, that's like huge, right? This is somebody that you met, you know, that is, is better than you could hope for, okay? Or the way they treat you is higher than what you could possibly in, in, expect. And you're kind of like in that seven of cups energy where you're all in your head or your head is all in the clouds, you know, that that's that fantasy type of mode, okay? So as you're leaving behind, you know, someone else, you're, you're, you're immediately, you know, catching up with someone new or you know, something new is coming in for you guys. So what else for Aries? Aries, sit still. You, I mean, God, leave. You're out of one and you're into another one. You're separated from some dork and now you got somebody else coming in. And you could feel bad about it, okay, with this cloudy judgment here, okay? You could be, you could be feeling some kind of way about letting this person go, but shoot, you got to do what you got to do, Aries, correct? For whoever you you let go here, Aries, you let them go because it's just been a lot, a lot of influences here between you and this person. So there could be all kinds of stuff going on. You know, when I think of influences, it could be addictions. It could be, you know, third party people. And the person that's coming into your life could be the interference that I'm feeling as well. But I feel that even though you've had some difficulties in the past with your past person, you know, it says un illusions, unbalanced and distorted. Um, when we think we've met the one we could be in in that type of mindset, you know, you know, looking at it, the relationship, you know, uh, through illusions or um, you have, could have had family that says, you know, hey, Aries, you know, you should leave that person and maybe that person's not the one for you or even why do you like that person? And you could have, you know, been in your doing your own thing, like because really it's nobody's business. You know, if you are in love or you're with who you're with, you don't have to explain you know, why you're there, you know, this is your life, you do whatever it is that you want to do. But I feel that as you progress in this dynamic, you started to, you came to the realization that this dynamic wasn't healthy for you. And so you've kind of separated your energy from this person. And, and for some of you, you're looking into someone new because you have an open heart here. So you weren't bitter about the decisions that you've made in this past relationship. You know, they haven't scarred you in any way because it says open your heart. So you're receptive to love right now. And although you may feel sympathy or empathy for the person that you're leaving behind, you know, that's just too bad, okay? Because I feel that they'll be okay. They need to deal with whatever it is that they're dealing with. Whether it's the loss of you, whatever influences that I'm feeling in this reading, who knows what that is. I don't know. You know more than me. But look, releasing, letting go and moving on okay and somebody does feel sad okay there's sorrow here i do see that i feel it here with this open heart card i do feel like somebody is really lost without you or will be lost without you okay they're going to be very distorted and unbalanced i do feel like somebody's going to be crying at night all right but the new person you with tons of chemistry tons of passion they came in and kind of you know pulled you out of this past dynamic that really wasn't going anywhere okay you just kind of stuck in like a time warp where you know nothing well yeah resistance it's just like kind of stuck in a time warp where it's just nothing was going forward nothing was changing you know uh you just would just dealing to deal is how i'm feeling this but it says secret admirer suppressing and timid so um i feel an energy of shyness here okay and the person that you could be seeing right now your past love may not know about okay so it could be like maybe there's you know you're not telling you know the person that you were with that you've met someone new they may not know about this you could be keeping that from them and then on the flip side the person that you've met you know could kind of have like the effect on you that makes you feel like kind of childish you know maybe a little shy i don't know so um they could be pulling you out of your element a little bit all right very nice so we got beginning so we got a uh, start over uh new direction uh try again 
Uh, definitely, if you're leaving someone behind, they probably are going to try to get you to stay. All right. They may not be as open to releasing you as you are to them. All right. Let's just say that. But you're ready for some excitement. Okay. You're ready for good times. You want some some thrills. Okay. You just you just you just want something new right now. You've become bored with the person that you were and the person that you're with. Like you just it's just not serving you. And you have time. Could have spent a lot of time. And time equals definitely cycles, okay? Time is very precious. And I feel that it was time for you to let this person go. You got time and release. And it definitely was probably time for you to say goodbye to this person so you can start your life over again and be more vibrant, all right? So I, that's, that's just how, you know, I'm seeing this here. Like, you want to get back into feeling good about yourself with this divine feminine here. Like you've been, for if you're a girl, you've probably been, you know, taking on that more masculine role. Uh, role you could be working, taking care of the family, paying all the bills, you know, really just doing it all, burning yourself out while the person that you're with is just sitting back dealing with whatever addictions they may have or whatever the issues, you know, traumas that they have, whatever the case may be. And then you got death. So it's nothing worse. To being in a relationship where people don't support you, don't value you, or don't see the importance of you in their life. And a lot of you, Aries, have been woken up to the realization. Oh my God, realization right here. The realization that, you know, you're better than this and that you deserve better than this, okay? So leaving this person and deciding to walk away after you spent so much time with them may have been a hard decision for you, okay? And you could be going back and forth with it till this day. But I feel that you guys has, have decided to just, you know, call it a wrap, all right? Your person that you're leaving may, you know, be bitter. Um, they may be cutting off a lot of communication. Maybe they don't really have much to say. Um, they could be acting a little weird and mysterious right now uh, in your presence because they may feel that, you know, your feelings are changing. You know, people ain't stupid. You know, they can sense uh, when you take your energy, you know, back from them. So it is what it is. I love to say that because it is like, what can you do is very little we can do when it comes to uh, changing other people. Okay, we can change ourselves, but we just don't have the power to change other people. So if this past love that you were with is like refusing to recognize the depth of you and who you are and what you've given them, then that's their problem, right? So we have judgment. This is a wake up call, okay? Judgment is Scorpio. Some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio, but judgment uh, is... Um, a review of your decisions, okay? So in ending this, you may have taken some time to really think about your decisions. You know, where do you want to go with this? Do you want to give this person a second chance? Because judgment does speak of second chances. Do you want to renew the old relationship? Or do you just want to walk away? Because I feel like with judgment, there is an energy of inner, inner calling, where it's asking you to reflect on your decisions. Because remember, the past will always meet the present. So if you don't, if you're not realistic now about your decision, so if you feel like this relationship that you've been in is not going nowhere and that the only thing that is, that's changing here is, is, is time, then it probably is time for you to get into this, this energy of judgment and, you know, just kind of reflect on uh, where you're going, what you're doing and with who. All right. What else for Aries? So you got, I feel like the flame probably was the old person. The new person I think that's coming into your life right now is just somebody that's trying to uplift you out of this energy. There's that seven of cups. I don't know if I mentioned that earlier, but um, I do feel that seven of cups energy. I, yeah, I did say earlier when I thought about that fantasy card, like the seven of cups definitely has the energy of fantasy. Again, what I was going to say was, is that this new person that's coming in, I don't think they're coming in as a flame. I think they're just coming in to kind of bring you out of the past uh, uh, connection that you were in, okay? The false flame, so to speak, if we could use that word for this. I don't feel like um, they're necessarily you coming into your twin flame. This is just somebody that's going to put a spark or life back into you after it was depleted 
in its old relationship. That's what, you know, that's why this cycle is trying to wrap up. Okay? You got the world in fin uh, finality here. It's like the universe is just like, okay, time's up. You've invested enough of your time. Time to let this go. Time to release it. Open up your heart to some new things. There's other people out there to bring some chemistry into your life. Get back into this divine feminine energy. Start feeling good about yourself. You know, judgment's coming in to blow that horn, to get your attention, Aries, and tell you to shape up. It's time to ship out. Okay? All right, more messages, please, for Aries Spirit. All right, let's get a couple more. Give me more, give me more. So I'm going to keep shuffling all in everybody's ear. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You can do it. You can do it. I'm trying to finish up your reading because I know the landscape we're about to come through here, making a bunch of noise, okay? All right, so we got a tower. Oh, yeah. I like towers. Four of Wands, see? And I like the Ten of Cups. So this is why I like the Tower, if I may say so myself. I hope you guys can see these cards. I think you can. So the reason why I like the Tower is because, you know, it, like I said, remember I said it's like a wake-up call, right? There's something that, that judgment brought in for you guys. It kind of just like smacked you dead square on the back of your head. And it was like, Aries, wake up. It's time, all right? Time to come out of this. And a lot of you could have resisted. Like, we have a very unique way of ignoring things that are, like, right in our faces, right? You know, if the person's an asshole, they're an asshole, okay? You can't change the asshole, okay? They're going to be an asshole until they no longer want to be assholes. But if you think that you can change a person, you're really deceiving yourself. So when you're just stuck and resistant and you don't want to come out of your comfort zone, even though it's not that comfortable... You know, these towers come in, all right? Tower come in as like Scorpio uh, energy. And guess what? Scorpio also uh, is Aries. Um, the tower is actually uh, Aries energy as well. Scorpio and Aries. So I love it. I love it because the tower brings in change, okay? Sudden change, right? So some of you could have abruptly decided to just snap out of it and just walk away from that painful dynamic that you've been in for so many years and walk into something new. The tower is notorious, okay, for waking people up, particularly in times of uncertainty, okay? And we hope that during the tower is passing through your life that it doesn't break you down too much, all right? But I always say when a tower comes in, just let it fall. So if you guys have come to the revelation with this tower card here, it's all about revelation, that it's time for you to get on the good foot to step into this four of wands energy, maybe to find somebody to marry, okay? Maybe to, to do something with your life, maybe to get some good sleep at night, to be happier, okay? To enjoy life a little bit more, go out and celebrate, go get a drink, go to the beach, you know, do something. But this tower is leading you directly into this four of wands energy where you can, you can live a little bit more, okay? You can lighten your load a little bit more. You can be more, you can be happy. And then it's landing you in this Ten of Cups. You can't ask for a tower to bring in anything better than that, all right? The Ten of Cups is fulfillment, happiness, blessing, success, finally commitment, feeling good. It's, a, it's all about pleasure, okay? Getting change. I like it a lot. <laughs> I really like it a lot. The Ten of Cups bring in security and you don't never know. You could get married. Ten of Cups does talk about marrying, happy families, good fortune, harmony, all of those good stuff. Now, there's a lot of that could be coming in, particularly after a really rough time, all right? A lot of struggles, a lot of losses, setbacks, feeling alone with the person that you're with because they're boring and stuck in life. All right, what else for Aries? Aries, you're my last one, okay? I'm, man, I'm going to eat something soon. I don't know what, maybe exercise a little bit too and try and stay on top of it, yeah. All right, what else for Aries? We got distracted. Ooh, all right. We have clinging and we have lusting beauty. Ooh, let's get one more, even out the rope. I take this and we have one day. So, I get there's a lot going on um, for a lot of you. I feel your past dynamic has kind of been keeping you stuck, okay? 
because we got this distracted card and we have clinging here. So this past dynamic definitely has been keeping you stuck. That's why judgment and the tower came in, all right, to kind of free some of that up for you because you were having a hard time doing so, okay? So the universe kind of came in and helped you uh, break some of these walls down so that you could move on into something more meaningful to you, okay? I feel like since you've been with this person, like your sexuality, the way you feel about yourself, you know, has been, you know, on the, on a, you know, it's been teetering, okay? Maybe you're not uh, seeing yourself as, as beautiful as you used to be. Maybe you were used to getting dressed up and putting makeup on or wearing nice suits, you know, whatever the case may be. Like, I feel that there's been something that was hindering you from you know, feeling like yourself, like being in that, that fire energy, like feeling good, looking good, smelling good, just that, that vibrancy, okay? And you guys have been longing for it because you have this lusting cards here. You've been longing to break free from this, this clingy person that you've been with. That's been distracting you from your talents, your creations, from, your, you know, getting the loving relationships that you need. There's just been something you know, that has been in the way, but it's not anymore because we we already see your four of wands and your ten of cups and all this beauty and happiness that's coming in for you guys. So the card says one day, it says someday, somewhere in another time. Now, I do feel that at some point in time, the person that you with, you know, you love them. I feel like most of you still love them. But there's something going on with this person. I don't know what because it's not here in the reading, all right? This is about where you're going, not where you've been, which I like that this reading is geared towards the future and not the past, okay? So whoever you separated from, you're probably going to miss a part of them and or the times that you spent with them that were good. But if it's meant for you to be, Aries, or if it's meant for it to be, what is for you will always be for you. The universe, if you believe in these things, will not ever let it pass you by. So one day, you never know. You may decide after you've gone out and had a little fun and this person realizes that you're gone, maybe they'll clean their shit up, okay? Maybe they'll be the flame that you need them to be. And then maybe one day, you guys will reunite and be able to pick up, you know, uh, not necessarily where you left off at, but, you know, pick up on a, a more happier and expansive uh, note. Okay, uh, Aries. So, Aries, let me get you a couple of, of cards. We got one that just flew out. It says, when you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. So leaving this past dynamic, you know, it's not like you, you guys are leaving the world, right? And if you do, you'll be back again. But it's not even that. You're transitioning from, you know, this past relationship. You're separating yourself. You're closing the chapter. You know, you've been through a lot with this person and it's caused you to recognize that there is some type of change that needed to be made. The world when it closes, when it wraps up the cycle, you know, it's, 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 it's fulfilling you. It's not like it's, it's closing up and it's just leaving you empty handed. It's not doing that. Okay. The energy of the world, you know, it has, it speaks of fulfillment. All right. Being complete. Okay. And so you're not just wrapping this up with just all bad memories. You're going to always love the person that you were with. They're going to always, you know, be a part of you. But right now, you know, you got to, you, you, memories you have, you, they're nice, okay, but you can't always live in them, okay? You got to live in the real world and the universe is trying to get you up and at them, okay? Back out there in your, in that fiery energy. Let's get one more card for Aries. And that just flipped up. So sacred union, it says honor and treasure your relationships for it is truly sacred. It says here, now the past is behind you. Release and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Aries, follow it with faith. All right, guys, this is your twin flame reading for uh, September. I will see you guys in the next reading. Thank you so much for sticking with me. Like and subscribe.